like me, lots of people tune into this channel for looks at history and things like that. And it is fascinating, and I often say with history, we walk through it every single day. Every single day of the year, something historical happened, whether we know it or not, somewhere in the world, whether it's in the Bahamas, China, Japan, or simply here in you know the United Kingdom, like Middlesbrough, Jewsbury in Yorkshire, something happened that changes the world that you don't necessarily think is important. It's a little bit like our you know hidden gems, isn't it? You know when you talk about things that we've lost over the years I love watching those old B films and you see you know London as it was and you see where they've knocked everything down and made it some might say for the better some might say for the worse this particular gem I wanted to share with you today is the King's Theatre up in Edinburgh I've been lucky enough to appear on there myself fabulous place absolutely steeped in history and sadly could be on the verge of closing as ever let me explain Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. Yes, when we talk about gems, we do look at places like this. And this particular theatre, the King's Theatre in Edinburgh, opened in 1906. Can you imagine? Wow, what a place, eh? And currently it's been renovated, but they now had a bit of a problem because they closed last September for the renovations. And now because of the cost cutting to the arts foundations and things like that over here, they've had to decide whether they can move forward, you know, and continue those renovations, or in fact, uh, will the situation be that they simply you know may never reopen again I know that's in, uh, very hard to believe it's as I say a theatre that's seen so much action so many great stars over the years including the operatic diva Maria Callas that's right what a lady she was also one of uh, the world's most esteemed actors Laurence Olivier and for Bond fans out there, way back in the late 50s, <laughs> Sir Sean Connery worked there as a stagehand while appearing also in a play there in 1959. So, you know, you can imagine those people walking through that wonderful stage door and being met with this vast, beautiful Victoriana Edwardian stage, uh, an auditorium, and could it be lost? The problem is we have a thing over here in the United Kingdom called Theatres at Risk, and it's a great organisation. And basically they state all the things theatres that are either closed or in desperate repair or possibly looking to be demolished in all in the sort of the modernization of our wonderful country tricky times isn't it you know and there's such a sterling group of people up there in Edinburgh hoping that this will never happen to them the problem also that the other side of the people might say is well if you put on the productions that rake in a lot of money rather than being having these very expensive artistic directors that don't understand the people around the vicinity and I've often said this when you run theatre you know you have to think it's all very well planting in an artistic director that loves Shakespeare but look around you those people living in those houses with accessibility to your venue, is that what they want to see? Or do they want to have a Motown or a Frank Sinatra tribute? If that's the case, and it fills the theatre and keeps the theatre running, then that's the things you should put on. But back to the King's Theatre, they're hopeful that that money can be met and they're hopeful that uh, sort of, you know, renovations will continue. Many of the staff there rely obviously on this as a full-time career and it's the only career many of them have known. And I wanted to highlight this, as I say, because lots of people say to me, you know, uh, you don't really feature things outside of London. We do when we can. And this particularly, as I say, I was lucky enough to uh, appear on that stage and also have a lovely look around that theatre. And it's so much part of that beautiful city of Edinburgh you know and royalty has attended indeed oh yes always a royal connection isn't there but as I say if you do get chance and you go up to Edinburgh and you do have a look around at some of these hidden gems oh and hopefully they are reopened again just taking the breathtaking beauty because looking at it now this simply could be lost forever Neil Sean in the very heart of life